I'm going to show you the tips and tricks to what I've learned in this game of the Mafia City. Okay, so I'm not that strong. And the first thing I do is come here. I always accept this because they always keep coming. I push these uh, hand signals down here to shake the hands. You can scroll through like this with your finger on the screen to the combination and to add to more resources. After this, I scroll up here to the boat. I see what I need. All the time, I always get the 40 or 80 rehice uh, roses or the deals. I never get the 100 roses or the 5,000 gold bars. It's 100. 100 per gold bar, I think, is uh, too much as to the others are 80 or less. Okay, I send that off so in 22 minutes I can come back. I click on here because this is always running through too, so you want to make sure you get these done. You always want to click on your hands, and anytime you see in the middle of the screen here at the vault, this lady, she gives some extra money. You kill this person here in the red. And then I basically kind of just scroll through to see my times of things. And then I come over here, I click on the family business, collect my things. Then I go to the garden, collect these so no one can steal my items. Come here to go to my VIP section, click on one hour. And then I plant my garden. After this, I check to see who I can steal from, okay, no one. Very important to steal your flowers because you know, they're worth resources, so nothing. I go down here to the left corner, garden store, I buy my items. Okay, I got these listed as my stars here because to me, these are ones that you always need and they're cheap prices. So your T2 recruitments, you definitely need them. Yeah, for defensive and just to have extra vehicles, your five advanced chips, your 5,000 EXP, and your roses. The rest of the stuff I don't really have listed. And now I'm a higher VIP, so now I get to choose Charles Fragment, so I'm also getting that because that's for defensive battles for resources. So I go here, I click on all these, these five main objects here you can easily do just by with what you grow a day okay it's very important to collect all these because you use them vastly okay so now i'm back up here to the top right 845 less so basically i had just enough for all of them but the charles one costs almost 5,000, so that kind of eats it up but anyways important to have these I go over here into the swimming pool area and make sure that the blue guy, I think I already checked on it, but the blue guy walks around, click on it so you can get some more coins, go back here. Also, if you reject this, if you shelter it, the people run away, as to if you reject it, okay, the people in the city tend to stay, I don't know if they're still here because they ran away already, but the people in the city walking around, you can hit them and punch them and uh, gain some points, usually only once or twice a day, and uh, same thing, ignore help, but there's no people in the city now, once you accept help, all the people run away now, it's a new item in the game, okay, after I do all that, I go up here, and I click on my expertise plans, Okay, I have powerhouse, cargo, defense, cash, and go fast, invest, train, heal. So these, you can edit all these. You can learn this through other games or other players that mention this. I just kind of want to run through the whole aspect of how to handle your game as fast as possible every day and be safe and gain the most resources. Okay, that's what I'm trying to show you right now. So I have cash, go fast. Here's my items to make my crews go fast. And uh, that way, when I click on to the left bottom corner here, 
I come to the main map and then I can fight off my troops, okay, very fast. So here, I basically just scroll a little bit, make sure my power's enough to kill the people. Okay, once I got all this going, I will show you after, here in a second. So basically, yeah, I just want to try to, because the game, I've learned with this game, the more time you spend on it, the more resources and the higher you can get, okay? And then I go down here after I get all my five running to gather things. The bottom right corner clan, I hit this, I go to collective rewards, because all this stuff is on timing, so it's important to click it and get it going again. Like four hours later, I can do another one, okay? You can hit your timer on your clock to adjust to the timing of the game, or just play once a day or twice a day. If you only play once a day, I highly recommend you play at the start of the game, right before, about 10 or 15 minutes before. That way, you can play both days at the same exact time. So for 30 minutes, you play 15 minutes for the the day that you're running, and then once the cl time clock hits the the hour based on where it refreshes the day, then you play another 15 minutes on that day, so you have 30 minutes, and you basically have done two whole days, okay? So these are very important also. To get to do all this because it's rewards and like I said the more you play this game the more you invest into the game the more rewards you get such as like I will show you on the jewelry card a nice trick on your jewelry card under your babes you can click one time and basically advance your next level or you can keep clicking now you see all my things on the left box up here huh? is gone. So you see I'm fast, so I have to do it again to gain these rewards. And like I said, the whole object of the game was to try to do as much as you can and get as many rewards as you can as the fastest you can because this game really, really can eat up your time. <laughs> A lot of time. So... Let's uh, keep the things moving. Okay, I show you here on the babes card up here. You go to the babes. And you go here to the screen. These five circles down in the kind of the middle or well, the bottom of the screen. These five circles you can upgrade, okay? And then you have the gift all where it'll basically raise you a whole nother level. And it's going to charge your cards 2,550. Or, you can hit the gift, okay, and then it gives you, what, you'll see one, three, two, it's giving you this amount, three, three points for just one credibility of a jewelry card. So like I said, the more you play the game, and keep clicking here, then you're going to save 50% of then just hitting the gift all, okay, this is... This is uh, kind of one of the traits about this game. It's all about uh, playing and clicking on things. And you have to kind of really learn the game really valid here. Okay, once you have all your things, uh, all your resources gathered up. I've been playing the game for a couple years now. I... Uh, don't put in that much money, only maybe a dollar or two a week. I'm always trying to upgrade, always doing things. It's very important in this game to get your uh, pawn brokers and to get all this advancements because let's take a look here. Like for instance, um, exchange, let's go to footwear. And you see here you have healing speed 51 at this uh, Italian board this level 40 you have healing speed 51 and healing speed 51 that's 100% healing speed 
And then when you have to make sure you're wearing these clothes or these objects, it's like here, canvas, can, canvas shoes level 10, investment speed 15%. Okay, easy to get these shoes. Once you have these and you click on the top left, like I said, you can make your plans here to adjust to everything. But it's highly important that you make sure that the your listings is correct when you order or buy or build or things like this. So my investment here, I'm going to click on my investment plan, <laughs> which is going to speed up my plans. Okay, I will. Oh, I already got this. My three day. I don't want to rush through that. Uh, yeah, but okay, if you click on it, and then you click on, you go back up here, and you click on a different, uh, let's see if I can do it now, just to show you, I go to investments, I go to resources at the top here, I go to Volt expansion, okay, right now I'm on my investment plan, so if you look, I have 10 million, uh, for cargo and two million eight hundred for uh, cash. So okay, let's let's remember this. Seven hundred and eighty eight one oh nine. If I go back out of here and click on my powerhouse, okay, which isn't my investment program, and I go back here to the same exact thing, it's going to read It's going to read differently on the right hand side. I was reading the left hand side because the left hand side is what I have. <laughs> the right hand side is how much it costs. So 3,500, 3,500. So, okay, let's go back to the investment plan and you will see the difference that it makes. Uh, resources. You see the difference? Look at the difference, the time difference, your resource difference. So it's very important to do the pawn broker and to upgrade on those things and always upgrade to 100%. Don't upgrade any less unless you're doing some kind of set or outfits to uh, gain more expertise when you have all six items. But for your regular items, you need to always make sure that they're upgraded i know that i haven't because i've learned in the future that well it's not good to do that but that this game is a learning curve and um okay once we do that we got all these going these all all dead okay you can always uh click on all this i'm just gonna run through it real quick to show you let's donate i already donated make sure you uh, make sure you supply and re reinforce your people, and it's, you can hit down here at the bottom, daily, okay, and then go up to the top, daily missions, and this will show you what you've already done, okay, now it says that I haven't done the smuggler, I need to upgrade buildings, rank up crew members, black marketing, Okay, I haven't did reinforcements, I haven't supplied resources, I haven't shared on Facebook. All this stuff will add points. It's always, your objective is to always get at least 420 in the day. Okay, if you can't get 500, make sure you get 420, because 420 is very easy to get. You don't have to use a lot of speed ups, things like this. So, we're going to give my... Uh, teammates here, some cash and supply. Like I said, it's for reinforcements. I think it's like 20,000 or 15,000 troops you send there, you get the credibility. But this is very important to get. So that's basically it. And uh, it's kind of just help you out figuring out some other things here that's important but that's basically it you know let me uh see how things go and see if i get a lot of reviews for this i do have a big channel also 
under my voice testing. I wrote blogs, I wrote a book. And I like to play the game. I like to talk to people around the world, see what's going on. Uh, another thing to, another tip or trick to gain uh, gold. Like here, I always just try to do 50. So, okay. And now I have 50 at the top here in the middle, free trades. Click on both of the uh, cargo and metal super quickly. Okay, that's done. What uh, I was saying about the gold here, if you ever need gold, okay, make sure once a week you can do this. Once a week, you can hit details on your mansion, hit share here. And actually, when you do the Facebook share, you don't really have to hit next and share. You can just hit cancel, and then, bam, daily missions completed. Okay, I already did this the other day, and every single week you get like 200 free gold bars by just doing that. So that's important also to share your items like your in your family club to share your vigilance and stuff and you get credit and free gold off of that. If you want to get extra gold here in the casino, and this is why it's important to gather your uh, things in uh, the, uh, let's see, the auto flip, I need to take that off, auto spin is on, okay, and here is your, uh, what are they called, uh, your advanced chips, that's why it's very important to get your advanced chips every day through your garden, okay, easy way to collect gold is usually you'll see the gold, gold bars at like 2,000, and then, okay, you have enough advanced chips to, to play. And uh, I'm trying to rush through this real quick just to show you. Okay, once you have the 2,000 bar that's listed on this little scroll icon and it pops up, okay, you can get your 2,000 free gold bars or maybe more if you get the times three or times two actions but regardless you can typically always get 2,000 gold bars also you can just let this run and play and have the auto flip both of these things at the bottom checked off and this is going to uh, let the wheel run faster all day long well not all day you have like sorry you have like 500 tries and it typically takes around 15, 20 minutes for it to run through. So if you just have an idle phone and you just want to let this play because you are basically getting free resources. So, okay, here you go. Here's the 2,000 bars. I have 896 of the chips at the top, the advanced chips. Okay, I can just go here and flip all because uh, the computer basically always makes you get less gold than what they think that you're going to get. But sometimes you get lucky. So you can see here my gold bar is flipped at number 9, which is 9 items. So it's the last that was flipped, so I only get 2,000. But regardless, I get 2,000 free, okay? And then now I have 2,000 extra gold bars. It's an easy way to collect gold and make sure that all your things are advanced speeding up it's also make sure important to do your family club depending on what kind of mansion you have i always go down to trade plans first i always get the hitman coins because i think very important uh if you're working on babes it's important to get roses for free basically Family development is also important. And then I scroll up here to Vigilant Plans, Growing Fame. I collect this all the time. The other stuff, you kind of already have a lot of it. It's always good to get your resource balance sheet here. And then also important to at least click on one talent training. But like I said, this just depends on what mansion you have and how you want to play. Everyone has a different objective to how you play as to some people leaders have 
no cargo or no cash houses. They only have clubhouses or steel or you click on these so you get free. You can click on the car also and win things. So this is basically it. I mean, people, like I said, other people, it just depends on if you're putting money in or if you, if you don't have money and you're just playing all day. It just really depends. I mean, with me, I have many mansions, I mean, many buildings of cargo and many buildings of cargo is an essential part of, uh, of our business. Arms and cash. I do this because at the top, I always have extra. Now, it's very, very important if you don't have a truce on or if you're at war or something in your city. It's very, very important at the top of your screen here. It says 11.5 million cargo, 2.6 cash. It's highly important that you keep this stuff at or around zero. Don't go past that. Only use exactly the amount that you are going to use. Okay? For example, let's go to Hitman Agency here. And I'm going to go to Training Services. And then I'm going to see here and see, okay, I already have stuff at the top of my screen. But if I didn't, I would just click on enough to buy what I need to buy. And don't have extra lingering around up at the top here. Because anything of the, your resources that is just lingering up at the top, like here, if I got attacked and I lost, I would lose 11 million cargo. Okay, I have a truce on now, so I'm okay. But anyways, it's very important to keep the numbers at the top of your screen close to zero. It's very important you play all your aspects of the game, your smugglers. Uh, here, I usually only play what I think is needed to play. So anything with like uh, small amounts of cargo, I usually grab this stuff up. Uh, this uh, one day VIP I have so much these five minute training speed ups I just go ahead and grab them because that way another thing can list and hopefully I can grab something that I need That's more important, but like the rest like this on the screen. I don't need none of this I don't need to waste gold for hours speed ups. I don't need no more crime Ops recall. I think it's ridiculous how much the game gives already So we go up here hit free Okay, this is a good deal, 87% off, tag that. Uh, I don't need all this cargo and waste all my gold because gold is very important to have for truce. Okay, unless you're spending a lot of money, then you can get gold free almost daily by spending money. But if not, it's important to keep your gold for the truce and also for the boat, the yacht. The yacht is important to gain your babes higher percentage because the babes give you a lot of stats okay all this stuff was small cargo here this this energy these training speed ups small cargo small investments okay this one hour speed up i clicked that ninety six thousand cargo is nothing this cash boost you definitely need all your boost that you can gain so the rest of them i don't need I think there are a lot of the stuff here in this game you have to also watch out because <laughs> some things is kind of ridiculous and some things rip you off and just like I spent $20 for the VIP section and I thought I was going to get uh, <clears throat> all this extra ops for the... the animals and different mansion look but i got i, I didn't get nothing because you need like a hundred thousand gold bars <laughs> in your system to <laughs> gain this stuff i didn't know that so like i said this game really ask questions before to your leaders or people that's been playing a long time because it's very important because this game is constantly switching, okay? This 1,000 VIP points times 5 is very important. But like I told you, I'm already at VIP 10 up here. Because I've hit this 2,500 so much over the time. But I gain, you gain a lot when you're at the VIP 10. You can scroll here, okay? 
in the middle of the screen it says VIP 9, VIP 10, okay? If you are at VIP 7, VIP 8, uh, you get a lot of big differences. And uh, I think having the VIP 10 is well worth to be with your mansion. Okay, this is my first time uh, doing this video. I hope you all like it. I just kind of wanted to run through a little bit and show you kind of, okay, you have 610 roses. Oh, that's 65 each. Very good deal. Okay, grab these, send it off. Make sure you do the slam or two daily. And make sure you just, uh, like I said, continue playing because that's how we grow. And hope all is well and take care. If you want to find me, I'm easy to find. So, ciao.